Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. We're starting to get some beautiful fall weather. The leaves are changing colors and the weather goes up and down. One day you get a nice warm sunny day like yesterday and today it's cold and rainy. I was out photographing trees yesterday. I was checking the ginkgo tree down in the park to see if the leaves were changing color. I'll show you some shots of that. This weekend, I'll be down at the Toronto Bonsai Society's annual fall show and sale, and I'll be making a video there, and I'll be there all day Saturday. It'll be really exciting going down to the Toronto Bonsai Society show this fall. I think there'll be a lot of beautiful fall colors on the trees. It, it should be quite a show, it always is. The work on the roof of the plant room is proceeding really well. I still have a lot of my tropical trees outside. I have the greenhouse filled and I've got the rest of them under cover. I'll head up and show you the roof. Just climb the ladder here. It poured rain all morning today. Oh, here I come. So there it is. Um, you can see it's all sealed in. There's no place for the water to run in. It's got the flashing right up the sides to the other roof. A steel roof so all the ice and snow should slide off a little better on this low slope. So they still have a little work to go putting the eaves trough on. And yeah, just a little bit of finishing work underneath here. But it's basically almost done. So that's good. It should keep it nice and waterproof for many years to come. I'll head inside now and I'll show you what I have to do inside the uh, plant room. Uh, I have some insulating work to do, so we'll go inside and have a look. So here I am in the plant room now. I've got a fair number of trees in here, but it's certainly not crowded. There's my Sarissa doing well, got, getting all kinds of new growth on it now after the repotting. So up in the ceiling here, you can see the silver foil or the Mylar insulated foil here is, uh, it's removed. And up here, you can see the new beams they put in. And I coated it all with a, uh, a sealer, a uh, rubberized sealer. And that's to stop when the moisture condenses on the underside of the plywood here because it's cold on the top of the roof and it's warm and humid inside the plant room here. So you get a lot of condensation. And so I've waterproofed all the beams and plywood from the inside and seal up all the, the gaps with the foam back there. And then I can put my insulation bats in and then put my silver foil here as a vapor barrier. And I seal it all with either furnace tape or greenhouse tape. And you need a special tape that uh, can withstand high temperatures because it gets quite warm in here in the winter. So you, regular tape, the glue loses its uh, ability to stick after a while. So 
So you need a special kind of tape, either a furnace tape or that greenhouse tape works really well. So I seal all my joints with that to make it all kind of airtight and watertight so it doesn't rot out the roof. And it, it's, it works quite well. It just, uh, I had that roof leaking for years and it just, just destroyed it. So it's on the mend. So let's head back outside and I'll show you how I keep all the rest of my plants warm when it's really cold outside. I'm back outside now in the bonsai zone and we'll enter the greenhouse and I'll show you what I'm doing for heat in, inside. So we'll open the door here and here it is. There's a, there's a little furnace here. It's a, what do you call them? Ceramic furnace. It's got a little temperature control on the back. I just, I just turned it on. You can hear it running. So it blows hot air into the greenhouse and it just keeps it warm enough that the plants don't freeze. Um, I don't think I have a thermometer out here. No, I don't. But it keeps it quite warm in here. It's, uh, the plants are doing very well. So that just comes on when it needs it. I'll turn it back to the level it was at. There. And the rest of the trees are under cover here. If you see, these are my two bonsai benches, my potting bench and my shade bench over here, which is kind of in the shade of the greenhouse. And all the trees are underneath this, uh, it's sort of a translucent tarp. I use it for my shade cloth on my greenhouse the one time. It's sort of uh, got clear, it's a clear tarp with uh, reinforced with uh, white plastic mesh. So quite strong. And I'll show you the trees in it. I'll go around the other side and show you how the trees are doing. Here we are around the other side and I'll lift the, the tarp up and I'm inside here and it's nice and warm in here. If you look straight ahead, I have a little micro furnace in here and I've got a light bulb on over there. And it keeps, again, it, it keeps the plants warm enough that they don't freeze at night, even if the temperature goes below freezing. So yeah, it feels quite nice and warm in here actually. Something's been digging down there. I don't like leaving the plants on the ground because you know, it gives access to mice and that, that can chew on them, but so far they're all looking well and it, it won't be for much longer. As soon as I finish that plant room, I'll get all these trees into the plant room somehow. I have a lot of trees to go in there, but we'll do it. Yeah, so there's a look at, they're just underneath the benches. So there's the acacias there. They look really good. All right, I'll show you the furnace. Over on this side, I have the little micro furnace. Let me just move this out of the way. Uh, right in there. You can see it. It has a little button on the bottom, so if it tips over, it, it turns off. And it's got various temperature settings on it. There's low and high. I guess that's all there is, low and high. So I just have it on low, and it just puts a little bit of heat out. And it keeps this whole space nice and warm in here. And I don't have this tarp sealed up really well. There's lots of air circulation, but... Uh, it just keeps it above freezing. I think even if we went down to like minus two or three degrees out Celsius, you know, a, a couple of degrees below freezing, I think it would keep it nice and warm in here still. So that's my, you know, that's my method of keeping all the trees nice and warm in this cold fall weather. I'm starting to get some nice fall colors on my trees. The maple here is turning a nice kind of yellowy color. The American elms are also turning a nice yellow color. They look really nice as the rest of the American elms. My larches haven't turned color yet. You can see the larch forest here. It's still nice and green. I don't see any signs of it turning yellow yet. We've only had the one frost. And in this area, I don't even think we got frost because it's 
kind of protected by that tree a bit if we look up here so you know, the cars had frost on the roof but uh, I don't think it got frost back in this area at least not that I saw anyway yeah so no no really fall colors in the larches I would say this larch is maybe turning a little bit yellow it's not a deep green color but uh, and some of the birches you can see the birch here it's getting yellow on the leaves and the maple here is getting yellow they look uh, they don't look so good they kind of have uh, I don't know this maple had a rough summer this year eh, hopefully next year it'll do even better uh, the one maple over here has some really nice fall colors really nice red on them and there's some maples over here with some fall colors and some over here oh and I, I must show you I bought a juniper the other day at Canadian Tire big box store so it is a green carpet juniper juniper communis green carpet full sun and it was five dollars which I thought was a good price because if you look in here I don't know if you can see that right here I can't really see it but it has quite a large trunk it's it's the thickness of my thumb and it's only it's only a really short tree so imagine my thumb in there so I think I can make that into something fairly nice I hope I'll uh, overwinter it in the basement and uh, see how it does uh, Michael from the club he has some black pine seedlings that he gave me they're here on the bench though those are new and uh, so I'll definitely get those in the basement before it gets too cold out the rosemary forest is looking really good I should just show you that it was in the show this year and you know it's it's less than a year old and I think it looks really good uh, I, I pruned the rosemary back and now I'm getting you know secondary growth on it all my cuttings took so I have a little bit of a forest here yeah I'm really uh, really happy with this rosemary I'm very excited to be heading down on Saturday to the Toronto Bonsai Society's fall show and sale and I hope I see everyone there I'm Nigel Saunders thanks for watching today in the Bonsai Zone mm -hmm.